a lot of blood, violence, blood, guns violence, involved as well. And it's very gritty. And it's a different feel compared to what the other MC MCU stuff that we've seen. <laughs> It's a different feel compared to what the other MC MCU stuff that what the other MC MCU stuff that we Gotcha bitch Got he Got he Each Maya Chachi Hookay Of course leave it to the woman to step up and say something Okay, can you pause this for a second? I don't watch a Marvel show, so I have to read as many subtitles as a freaking anime episode. They're very different genres. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, Marvel. Every, they're on brand with a lot of this shit that's going on, so... You know, kudos for consistency. <laughs> oh, you know what's going to happen? I'm going to predict what's going to happen. My prediction is the female character here that was talking shit, this one. I think this guy is going to start dominating and she's going to echo back to the ancestors. This is my, This is my prediction here. Maybe we'll see how the powers work. If they don't do that... I um, sure as hell hope so. Yeah. Because I, I genuinely don't understand her power set. Because there's no way in hell that this woman here <laughs> should body this guy here in any aspect of life. But... um, Just... I, I don't know what, what, what um, Native American... Um, culture was like, but I'm pretty sure that they didn't have the women in the contact sports. Pretty sure. (laughs) Uh, Modern day TV folks. Wow, you called that shit. (laughs) It's almost as if that's predictable as hell. Oh, God. I should be writing fucking shows for Marvel. Like, I know their formula. Like, we know their formula at this point. Like, because they're so consistent with the with the trash. Like, we know their formula. So we could literally write for them. And you know what? We probably would get hired if we put in our applications. Because, one, I'm a minority. And two, you're in the chair. So... <laughs> Unfortunately, I do think that they would actually watch our shit enough to realize we don't buy into this, and they'd be like, no. Hey, but we don't worth the effort. Hey, we don't say our names, so it's fine. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Well, you know what? If they didn't hire us, I would say, why? Is it because I'm black? And then you could say, is it because I'm in the chair? And then, boom. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Discrimination for the win. Is it bad that I just kept hinting fall, fall, fall? Oh, we wouldn't be so lucky. Bullshit. <laughs> I I am so bored. <laughs> I don't even know what her motivation is. Like what is what is going on? Like I she wants to be queen. Is that what, the her whole what thing? She, the, the thing is like there are two questions that they failed to answer. What does she want and why should I care? Exactly. Like why <laughs> Would she okay? So, may, the only thing I know is she wants is like to be queen. Like this the is what I know. Empire, I guess. I guess the empire. But like the why should I care portion? Because <laughs> I don't. I don't care. Like I don't care at all. I. I don't. I. 
Wow. I, I, I don't know, like, I feel like if they, if these were exceptionally deep characters, those conversations could be really meaningful, but I don't care I don't care enough for their long drawn out conversations that say nothing. Yeah, I don't care either. Like I, I there's nothing impactful. Maybe like you said, maybe if the characters are more you know, drawn out and Don't get me character- wrong, I love a good dialogue, like a good dialogue show. I mean, look at that lasso. It's all it's all dialogue with the occasional football slash soccer match. Hey, but, I mean, even House of Dragon on HBO, like a lot of it is dialogue. Like I can get down with dialogue if it's done well. If I've given a reason to care about the people, it's like evolved. But... Yes. Yeah. But there's nothing. There's nothing here. Think. There's nothing here. That's the thing. There's just nothing here. And there's not the like was anything... built for the shells. Who we'll just clap at anything with the Marvel uh, logo on it? Correct. Correct. Yeah, I feel like that's the only little bit of Daredevil we're even we're even going to get. And that and that wasn't even Daredevil to me. I don't know what the fuck that was. Disney's Daredevil was what that was. <laughs> Yeah. They, they, they even told me why I should care that she like. Yeah, I don't care. I'm, I'm yawning again. Like I just, I don't care. <laughs> I don't even care enough to really make fun of it. Like I just don't care. That's so I, too. She wanted to send a message to Fisk's men by blowing when, up. Like her whole thing against against um, Barton was revenge. Her thing originally against Fisk was revenge. As far as she knows, he's dead. So what Correct. does she what she still want? Yeah, why is this even a priority still? Like, why would she even want to pick this fight? I, I, I mean, there's a big difference between I want revenge on the guy who killed my father and I want to be a crime boss. They aren't the same thing. They are not the same thing. Look at, what's her name? Um, Helena Bertinelli. Like, she just wanted revenge. That was it. Yeah. Yeah. She isn't, like... <sighs> I don't understand why she wants this empire. I, I I don't either. I don't know if yeah. she thinks that's the like that's what she needs. Like, I feel like here's the message in this whole thing. Again, oh yeah, I'm so bored. But here's the messaging I'm taking through this whole thing. Oh, this is empire. I want it for myself because this is this is what I think I need. This is the family I need, right? I with because she doesn't. She feels like she doesn't have family, so to fill that hole, she's got to have this empire, right? So she can feel powerful the, and feel. You the know, thing is, I don't get the impression she cares about anybody in this show. Well, that's the like, thing. She's like so disconnected. Like, from her actual family that she just feels like she needs Fist's empire to fill that void that she's missing in her life. But then she'll realize as the season progressed, well, the next three episodes, (laughs) she'll then realize that what she needed was there the entire time. But I don't get the, the thing is like, I don't get the impression she cares about them. She hasn't talked to who we know to be her best friend, presumably in years since since Fisk got a hold of her. I don't understand why she needs Kingpin's empire. I don't understand why she would want Kingpin's empire. It's I, it's, it's, it's psychological, man. It's psychological. It's to fill the void because her dad worked for Fisk, killed by Fisk, I, without I, Fisk. Like she needs to fill that's the theme of the show, Joe. She needs to fill the void in her life with Fisk's empire 
because she wants to be queen, but she was going to realize that she doesn't need that because she has a family. Maybe Vin Diesel will roll in, you know, and say, hey, let's come to the barbecue. <sighs> I just... Like... I... Why would you want to be involved in this empire? I would want to get as far away from it as possible. It took my family from me. Like... I know. Exactly. Why would you want to stay? Why would you want to stay in something like that? Like it just it it, makes it, sense. like I it would make more sense if she was like, okay, I took Fisk out as far as I know, but he was just one guy. I want to burn his empire to the ground. That would mm -hmm. make more sense at least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not take over. Maybe I'm just not big brain enough to figure it out. I, I don't know. I I'm trying to put my mind in a, and try to put myself in the mind of a Marvel writer. <laughs> in the Marvel writer. Barbara, Barbara, you would need a lobotomy to do that. Oh, actually, I wouldn't because it's it literally doesn't take much <laughs> to put your mind into. That's what I mean. Into, you you would you would need a lobotomy yeah. to do it. That's fair. You have to That's have your, your brain chopped up, chopped apart. Hey, maybe that's, that's that's maybe that's what what's happening here. So I mean, I can pretend and be like, oh, you know, the Marvel writer is gonna go, oh, she wants to take over because she wants to be queen because he's been grooming her ever since she was a little girl. <laughs> she wasn't, just he wasn't grooming her for that. He was grooming her to be an enforcer. Well, There's yeah, a big well, ass difference. there is, yeah, there is a big difference. But in their mind, they're like, oh, she's been groomed by him. So she can take over and, you know, I'm like, oh, God. But she's got her family and the representation. At the end of the show, it's all going to be about family. <laughs> um, I, I can watch, I can watch Fast and the Furious if I wanted that message. I, I like, <laughs> I know, right? I know. I just, I don't understand why she want. Like, what does, what does she think taking over is going to get her? What she doesn't care about, she doesn't care about Fisk's people. She doesn't care about Fisk. She doesn't care about her family. Like, she hasn't contacted her best friends. There's no threat on them, as far as she knows. <laughs> and Fisk is dead. I don't know. Maybe she, maybe some long desire for respect, you know. But who the fuck knows? I, I don't know. I just who knows. If it is about family, why does she think that that's going to get her a family? <laughs> yeah, if anything, it's going to fucking ruin your family. Like the one what guy said, left. Yeah, like the one guy said, like people are going to die. <laughs> People that you love, I love. Well, I don't know if she loves them anymore, but definitely people that he loves and her family. So, like, why the fuck would she even bring this war back home? Ugh, because the I like small it. child echo. Yeah, I was just gonna she say, seemed at least... yeah, small child echo. At least, like, she seemed like she had a personality. This one seems to have that have had that removed by the same people who removed it from Carol Danvers. Yep. As far as characterization goes, yeah, Child Echo, definitely more likable character. That, like you said, definitely has more of a personality. <laughs> yeah, far more likable than Adult Echo here, who you just, I don't, why should I even care about this bitch? Why? Yep. I'm tell it's two episodes of a five-episode series, which means we're... <laughs> We're forty percent done, and I can't answer what she, like I can't answer why she wants what she wants, and why I should care. I truly see now why Marvel wanted to fucking shit can the show. <laughs> I, I and can this see is why. Boring. Yeah, it's like I can see why the execs were like really trying to just not put this show out.
And I can also see why they just dumped it all at once because no one's coming back. <laughs> no one's coming back weekly to watch this shit. <laughs> Aside from the YouTube, aside from people reviewing it, other than that, how did Phil you know, Miller about eighty percent of the echo audience? Oh yeah, really? Seriously <laughs> though, and it's not even genuine. I enjoyed Velma more than I enjoyed this. <laughs> I enjoyed fucking Robin Hood. The fucking director X is Robin Hood more than this shit. Because at least I can, like, make fun of it. At least they, there was, like, a character or two that I was like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> I don't mind you. I, uh, I can't motiv- tell you anything about any of awesome. these characters. Say that again? I can't, I can't tell you anything about any of these characters. Any of them. Except the only- my family. Yeah, the only one that I can tell you about or that I even like is the guy from the bowling alley that just like has like just says all the most based things like <laughs> like he just is like no, like I'm not helping you. I don't want any of this. You need to leave. Like, at least his intentions are clear. Like, he's not, like, it back down from the whole I'm not going to help you routine. And he's staying pretty consistent with that. So, but he's the only one. The only one that, uh, yeah, anybody else, I'm like, whatever. Don't care. And, of course, we got Biscuits, uh, who was supposed to, I guess, the comic relief. Is he supposed to be that? The D bas- I mean, he basculated Bill. The thing is, like, at least with most comic relief, I can at least try to tell that they're trying to be funny. Or, like, if they aren't funny, they're at least trying. These people, I can't even tell that. It's like, no. it's just so bland. Yeah. It's bland with a uh, with an indigenous skin tone. That's it. That, like, that, <laughs> that's all this show is. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. You're right. You are not wrong, sir. And I haven't been given any reason to care about her community either. Yeah, they really haven't given us anything, you know? Like, we got the whole, we got the white guilt scene in this episode. We got that. You know, we got the, we got the one woman carrying at the, um, at the, um, Antique dealer guy, yeah. The, like, yeah. Ooh, white people are dumb. Yeah, we got that scene there. <sighs> they they do realize that the people, the people in that, the people in that scene, the people they're making fun of and like freaking white people, they do realize that those people match their mindset completely, right? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, shiny! <laughs> that's the that's the audience they've courted. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man! Well, at least there's only three more episodes, so you know there's that. I I telling you, I enjoyed Velma more, yeah, which is. Which speaks volumes. <laughs> at least, at least I did. At least I was able to stay awake through. <laughs> you know that's true. Like I wasn't. Like I feel like I wasn't tired until I started watching this show, and now I just got incredibly fucking tired. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow. Well, episode two. A bomb went off. And, uh, yeah, she jumped off a train. Oh, and I guess the echoing back to the ancestors also gives her super strength. It looks like. Yeah, I thought that she was echoing to like a, a 
agile creature, hence the jump and the flip over the person to score the goal or whatever. Not a super strength creature. I thought. Well, wouldn't that just be like that one Marvel character if they did that? Isn't there a Marvel, uh, not Marvel, a DC character? Where... Uh, Green Lantern's girlfriend from yes. the, uh, just like a li- yeah, that was kind of the impression I got. Yeah. I thought that that was going to be as well, but apparently, no. Apparently, all you have to see is your ancestors, and you're automatically just good at things. So, and you can do stuff. So. <laughs> you can do stuff now. I know, I'm doing the exact same thing. You did that very well, I have to say. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> the, the thing is, like, it, it'd be one thing if she had no character, but the people around her did. So I can right. at least get invested in them, right? But they don't have character either. There's yeah, no one is like making me drunk, you know, feel compelled to give a shit about anything in this show. So, yeah. So I feel like all of our after episode reviews are just going to be really short (laughs) because there's like going to be nothing to even talk about at all, which I'm fine with. But unless you have anything else, anything more, we can call it. We can wrap it up. Our conversation had more character in it than this entire show has in two episodes. I do not disagree. I do not disagree. And I was yawning 25% of the time, so my yawn had more fucking characterization than than anything in this fucking show. (sighs) Well, we uh, thank you guys for tuning in. We do ask that you smash that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and let us know what you guys think. Share this video out there, hit that bell for notifications, and you guys take care. Bye, everybody. Thanks for suffering with us.